Okay, friends. Why do I do that? Okay, friends. Welcome back to Even the Waves. Today we're going to be tackling the bench seats. Uh, since this is going to be mostly a beach mobile, I want to make it as comfortable as possible when people are sitting at it. But when we go camping, I want it to be comfortable as a bed as well. So you guys have probably seen the design before, but there's a couple tweaks that we're going to do to make them awesome. So stay with me and we'll get this thing done. Okay guys, so when screwing into the side of your van, I'm using a number 12 by one and a half inch. And then I have a hex head. I would have liked to use uh, more of a flat head, but the hex head will work. This is gonna be the first one that we're gonna drill in. I basically just um, recessed it, then we'll drill it into the side of the van. The inch and a half is a good length uh, for pretty much the entire van. Couldn't really find it anywhere. There's like bits and pieces of people's blogs and things like that that you might want to find it on. Uh, I think I found it uh, once or twice on YouTube. So this is just a central place for you guys to find everything. Uh, I'm using a half inch uh, drill bit for a wood bit or a spade bit or whatever you want to call it. Um, and that's giving me the ability to recess the head of the screw and then uh, the bit that I'm using for the head is 5 uh, that just came with the kit. So that's it. Let's put it on the van. So this piece right here has to go right here. The only problem is this. This is straight up and down. This is straight up and down. And there's a gap. Here's my fix for it. Okay, so I've never really talked about the design of how we're going to make the benches. Um, I've done a little work uh, that you guys probably haven't seen, but so here you go. This is basically the back side of the bench. So I'm building these framed out sections that have a door. So I have four of these that are going to be attached with a three quarter inch ply. 
Um, I'll kind of give you a rundown and show you how that's done while I'm moving, but as of right now, this is basically just uh, two by three uh, sections of like studs. And then I just put those together, I doubled them up here so that the door would stay farther away from the back of uh, the sprinter. <clears throat> and then I just put a little door on here with some piano hinges and then threw on uh, some one by twos on the top and one by threes on the bottom. Uh, this is just going to give us kind of like that more, I don't know, farmhouse or uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, shaker style type cabinet. This is like the really, uh, I don't know, this is, <laughs> this is like the really ghetto way of doing it, but um, it's totally fine. It works for us. This will be perfect. Um, and then on the trim, as you can see right here, I overset it about three quarters of an inch because that's what I'm connecting these two frames uh, on either side of the benches and it will be with three quarter inch ply. So that's totally strong enough and then run the top sheet of plywood over the top <clears throat> and then we're gonna make doors with the uh, same piano hinges, all right? So I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown, show you a little bit of a B-roll of uh, the cabinets themselves since I didn't really do too much on building them because all I wanted to do was build them. Uh, that's why the workshop is absolutely atrocious right now. So stick with me, let's get this thing done. Okay, now that we have them all framed out, cocked and sand, everything is ready to go. Now all we have to do is paint. Hey friends, so what we're doing here is I've drilled two pocket holes and then I've put a furring strip and bolted that into the van. I'm then sliding the overcut into the furring strip. I'm going to go ahead and glue this, glue the inside of here, and then throw uh, two one inch pocket screws. They're going to sit in here uh, right into uh, the section of that furring strip. 
I'm doing an added measure and I'm also going to glue it to the floor. I'll show you what I'm going to do and how I'm going to secure everything to the floor. A lot of people do uh, like a strip of wood that they glue and nail to uh, the frame. Uh, I'm basically just going to use uh, like right angle uh, pieces of metal. So stick with me and let's get this thing done. So now that we have our two sides of the benches, we're going to measure for the three quarter inch ply that's going to go right here. So the three quarter inch ply is going to be in between these two uh, pieces of trim and then as high as this and that will be all the way across and then I'll uh, basically screw it down to the sub floor in the back. I'm going to go ahead and sand it, paint it, and then we're going to go ahead and work on the bench tops. Okay, we're all done with the bench seats. Uh, I'm super pumped. Uh, these are awesome. They're the right height. They're the right length. They don't creak at all, which was a huge, huge plus for me because I really didn't want that. Now, there are a couple things that I still have to add. I still have to add the cleats on the side. They're going to be one by twos. And then I'm also going to add the lagoon table mount that I have to install. There will be a whole nother video on that. These are just the main boxes for the bench seats so that you guys can just throw them in if you're following along. Uh, I really appreciate it. I hope you guys like this. I hope it brought value to you. Uh, so I'm pretty pumped that these things are in. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I know it was a long one, but uh, for the most part, this is a long process. Uh, it took me a little bit of time to do and longer to film and then even longer to edit. So I apologize for the delay, but now they're all done. Let me know in the comments or show notes or whatever you guys want to call them. Uh, if there's something that might cause me problems later, uh, I would love to know. I'm by no means an expert at this, um, but for the most part, I love doing it and really want to uh, bring value to you guys. So this is just how I'm doing it. I know there's other ways to do it. Hopefully you can watch this, learn something, and then move on to a better design. So yeah, I hope you guys like this and remember, create what you love. See you guys on the next one.